how's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. I hope you're ready to go on to a ride of Shimmer and Shine. Um, as you can tell by the name, we will be discussing the Gourmand Girls Galactic Gourmand palette. If you'd like to see how I got this beautiful shimmery look, you're in the right place. I mean, look at this. You do want to see how these work, don't you? Yes, you do. So, you just need to keep on watching. Swatch time. I thought I'd skip the middleman today and just go straight to phone swatches. So, the first color is Luna. Then we have M81. We have Celestial, Comet, Ooh, Sirius, and Europa. And then let's see if I can get it to shift some here for you. I mean, it's on a pale ass arm, but yeah, well, you can see a little bit of shifting there. It'll probably do better on a base, of course. There's no primer or anything. So there we go. The Gourmand Girls Galactic palette. And then I also got the highlighter palettes. I'll show those as well. So the first shade, back it up so I can read here, is Moonshine, followed by Sunstonia. Then we've got Pink Diamond and Bronzed Crystal. So there we go, pretty highlighters. And this bronze one will probably be too dark as a highlighter, but would definitely look amazing on the eyeball. I went down for some in a spot where there's a little less light to see if I can see this, the um, color variations. And I think you can see it a little bit more in this light. And then let's go once more even darker here, like so. And you can kind of see how really pretty these are. Hey, is everybody excited or as excited as I am to play with the Galactic Gourmand palette? Yeah, yeah, I know I am. So let's come to the mirror, of course, and there's the color story. I did some quick phone swatches under some different lights, so you will have seen those. But there it is on screen. So nice. So I was thinking that maybe what we can do is do um, do the three. Yeah, this one. This one. Hold on. See, depending on how I look on it, it turns the it turns the the shift around. Because I was thinking at first doing the top two here and then this one, and then doing these three together, but depending on how the shift goes, they go from like purple to blue, I may not be able to do quite what I was thinking, but, so, trying to use, thinking of trying to use all the colors is what I'm thinking. So maybe I will do one look on each eye. I'm going to do them both. Let's test it. Should we do a black base or a white base? So I'm gonna take a little bit of my, well, it's not quite white, but the lightest shade of the um, mine from Juvia's Place. And then we'll just put on a little bit there. And then I'm gonna take, I think I left it in here. I did an eye look with another palette that'll probably be coming the day after this one. Um, and I hated the look, so I'm going to refilm it. There we go. I had been playing with the Suva, Suva ba base. So let's see what, if we looked at, if we put on a lighter base and if we put on a light, darker base and then see how we would like to do our eye look. So I'm just gonna, I'll just make sure I squish this around. That's the one thing with the Suva ones. I'm just gonna make sure that you mix them up. Um, and let's just take a little bit of black, just to, want to waste it just take a little bit and then just let's do a strip of the black and then let's see what putting these colors would do and then I'm just going to use my phalange so let's take I'm going to take one of the darkest ones so I'm going to take celestial right there I 
can actually read the writing on the case of the glasses. And then let's stick that on to the black base. Ooh, that's nice. Oh. Ooh. That, look at that. Oh no. And then they'll take one of the lighter shades. So let's take M181. Take a little bit on our finger, how pretty that is, and then stick that on a light base and see what we think. Hmm. I think this is going to look, these ones are going to look really good on a dark base. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a black base on both eyes and then we're just going to do a look with all the colors. We've got two eyes, six colors, so three per eye. That's the plan. All right, thanks for helping me with that. So we're just going to get my little brush. Okay, so I'll just take a little bit of the Isua. And then we're gonna pop that on our eyeballs. And I had a lot to do today, so I started a little early, and thank goodness I did because I had to end up working a little bit later, so about 45 minutes extra. So I have no base or anything on, I just went straight to work this morning. So if I go a little crazy with this black base, we could always clean it. I'm going to clean it up after. I just want to smear as much on here as possible, give us a good base. So there we go. We got ourselves a crazy black eye look. It looks like I got punched in both my eyeballs, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. So I think what I'm going to try and do is let's use this nice, um, you, is this from units? No, this is one of the Suva brushes. So it's got a nice flat one on there. And let's see, I'm just looking at chefs. So I'm going to start with celestial and I'm going to stick that on one of my outer parts of my eye and let's start with brush just by itself no spray no nothing and then because it went well with the finger let's just see what happens here and let's put this on our outer edge here can you see oh how pretty is this oh goodness yeah, this is the one that when I was seeing all the swatches was the one that I wanted. So this is Celestial. So that's using it with a brush with no spray or anything. So that went pretty good. So let's like, use our finger and go into Celestial. These are so nice and smooth. Look at that. And then let's pop that in the outer corner. Yeah, look at that. If I was smart, I would have brought, did I leave one here? No, I didn't. Those little um, foam spatulas, I could maybe get, grab one of those. Oh, look at how beautiful that color is. Like I said, we can, you know, clean the edges and stuff off after. Just wanted to apply the colors, see how they look, do an all shimmery look these duochromes and multi-chromes. I'll put in the corner somewhere here, um, again, what colors they are and if they are duochromes or multi-chromes. Because I believe there were two multi-chromes and four duochromes, but I could be talking shit, so I will double check later. So anyway, that is a celestial on the outer edge. Then I think we're gonna go into Comet. So that's that one there. So we're gonna go to Comet and we're gonna put that one in the center. And I'm just going to clean off the brush. I like this brush, so let's go with Comet. This is looking like it's shifting green to pink to a dark green. Oh, this looks really nice. Okay, actually, so now for this one, I'm gonna scoop some nicely on this brush here. It's very nice and soft. And then I'm gonna give it a spray. So let's try it with spray. And then do that on the middle part. 
Yeah, I definitely think that these ones are definitely going to be made more for the finger or with a spatula. So maybe for the second eye, I'll go grab one of my little spatulas and we'll do that. But for now, let's take some more Comet and let's just stick this next to it with our finger. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. A little bit more. Oh wow, nice. How this is gonna look like all cleaned up and then with lashes. Yeah. All right, so that is Comet. And then for the third shade, I'm going to go with Luna. So it's this one here. And it to show it a little bit better. No, it's not, not at all. I was trying to see if I can just show the shifts better, but. Hmm. Not my forte. Okay, so again, we were saying we were gonna go into Luna. So make sure we have a clean phalange. And then this is the one. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. She was better at showing shifts. Some people are really good at that. And then I'm going to, oh, my other, my other dirty mirror. And then put that up front. Oh my God. Yes. This is my first palette that's, I think, completely like this, of multi-chromes and duochromes. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Like I said, I need to clean up my, <laughs> all the excess, um, my, my primer, but, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Wow. That looks really nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shut off the camera. I'm gonna go and clean around the edge so it doesn't look like I was punched in the head. And then I'm gonna go and grab one of those um, spatulas. And we're gonna try and see how that works putting on color onto the other eye. And then we can decide after I do my base what I wanna do with bottom lash line. I'm not seeing any fallout really. I mean, a little bit in the corner, but I think that's because of my finger kind of trying to get to right into the corner. So let me go and do that and we'll be All right, right we're back. I just cleaned up there. It looks way better than looking like I punched in the eye. But look at how beautiful this eye is. So, somebody is texting me. All right, so now for the other eye. Oh, I wanted to grab the spatula. All right, there we go. So I have a whack of these little ones. They're by Quo. They're a Canadian um, little makeup makeup brand. And they also make like little accessories, including these old school spongy tip applicators. So I thought, why don't we try one of those? I'm really liking this. And I took a little video so you can really see how, how that looks. I'm going to show while I was cleaning my um, eyes just how beautiful that first shade we tested on the black looks. And there's what we tested on the light, but look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Just the black base really does make these things really pop. All right, so we previously used Celestial, um, Comet, and Luna. So I think we are going to start with serious. So we're going to do that on the outside. And then we're going to first try it with this. So let's see how using the sponge tip type applicators work. So it doesn't seem to grab a lot, but let's just see what happens. Oh, wrong eye. Oh no, that does really good. So depending on what you like, because I know some people don't like to use their fingers, or especially when you're getting into like your inner corner of your eye, or you want to be a little bit more precise, this may definitely be something that you can use. So that seems to be working really well with, hmm, go away now, with Sirius. And again, I'm still going to take a little bit with my finger. Yeah, that's still the more 
intense way, I think, to get this shadow on, if you can see there. So there we go. That is absolutely gorgeous. So that is serious. And then I think we're going to go, let's, let's see how that shifts go. I think we're then going to go into, is it Europa? Europa, which is that shade. And the last shade we'll use is... M81 or is it M181? I think it's M81. There we go. I might have said that wrong previously. And then let's just take um, another side of our little spatula here and then we'll go into Europa. Wow. All right, Christina, you have a winner here. These are great. I mean, I think for the most part, these are ones that I would love to do just, a, you know, like one color and then just have this over top. I mean, they should be, each color should just um, be showcased all by itself because it is so beautiful. But I thought, you know, for our first play with this, why don't we use every single color in the palette? And then I also bought the highlighters, so we can use those after I do my base. So there we go. So this went on really well with the sponge applicator. Again, I'm going to take a little bit more and see if that goes even brighter. Oh, that they're really good. Yeah, these, either way, I would recommend either the finger or one of the kind of rubbery tipped or maybe even a silicone one. I bought some silicone ones, but I did not like them as much as I do these foamy foamy tipped ones. So, so now let's go into M81. And let's see how that does. Oh, wow. So when I, when you look at it in the pan, see, it just seems here to have like this red tinge, but then depending on how you twist it, it turns green and it went green but then again now when I look in the mirror here I see blue oh this color is excellent okay so but do be careful they're pretty soft especially this one um, it seems that Comet and M81 seem to be the softest ones in here so far but wow that's really pretty and then I'm gonna pick up the loose bits that I just have in the pan there and then when I put on my finger I see pink so this has definitely got to be one of the multi-chromes because depending on where you're looking at it and how you're looking at it. It's so many different colors. Wow, that is so nice. Not too much follow, just again, if I'm in a corner a little bit, trying to dig in, I get a little bit. But wow, these are really, really pretty. Camera, will, I don't think will ever do justice how, how lovely these are. Okay, so now I'm gonna go, um, do my base and then we're going to play with the highlighter and we're going to see if we want to do something on the bottom and maybe some lashes so i'll be back okay so we're back again i put on some lashes i just decided using the black from the spectrum palette just to put a little black under the um on the bottom lash line because i think we have enough shimmer there, but we may want something on the inner corner, so we may use that from the highlighter palette. So when I was swatching the Galactic palette, I had also swatched this one here, which is the Bold and Brilliant, and then this is their, or Gourmand Girls, Christina's um, highlight palette. Now granted, I can't use all the colors in here. You'll see when I, you'll see from the swatches and then when I open this, this one, my eyes keep wanting to stick together. Um, this one here is definitely too dark, but I think it would definitely be great as an eyeshadow topper, maybe even a light bronzer topper if I want a little bit of shimmer in her corner. There's definitely some uses for it. So we just have the beautiful moonshine. We've got um, sun, sunshine, sun one, <laughs> um, pink diamond and bronzed crystal. So those are, are the shades there. So I was just thinking maybe for, um, 
very colorful. Oh, and then I put all my lips, um, a lethal um, liquid lip that I got in my mystery box. So I think what I'm going to do is let's put some of, yeah, let's put some of the pink diamond into our inner corner on this eye because we've got you know in the middle of that lighter shade so let's do that so we're gonna take some of the highlighter on this cute little brush it's one of my favorites it's the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush I really like this size and type of brush so let's put it on the side that has the ready pink shift in the middle of the eye so we use that oh that's so pretty the other side we've got the purples and the greens why don't we because that's the darker side why don't we use the bronze the bronze one we'll take some of that so like a darker shimmer with the darker shadows oh that is so nice as an inner corner see so if you ever get a face palette that has some you know highlighting palettes that are a little have some colors that are too dark or too light even and they're great for inner corners or as eyeshadow toppers so that is really pretty I really like that so and then for the face I think we are gonna go with I don't know how much you can see there I think let's actually go with sunstone let's take one that's a little bit warmer out of the two like the moonstone is a little bit more icy and then the sunstone is a little less Oh, this is very pretty. Oh, I like this. Yay! Another win. So, so far I've tried three eyeshadow palettes. Well, two regular eyeshadow palettes, one specialty eyeshadow palettes with um, Eochromes and Multichromes, and then this lovely highlight palette. I was watching Sylvia use hers and I was envious. So I thought, well, if I'm doing another order and I'm paying for shipping, Stick something else in. Yeah, no? There we go. That is so nice. Alrighty, so we did get a little bit of play of the bold and brilliant palette there. Nice, right? And look at this. Look at it. Beautiful. So I guess you can tell what I think of both of these palettes. Um, they're awesome. Like I said, these colors are so beautiful. I think they each really need to um, have their own look, I think, because yeah, they all need to shine on their own, but they do look all good together as well. So um, let's see, are there any cons to this? No, not really. Um, if you, if, unless you don't like this color story, it's got some great shifts. There are a couple that are a little bit softer, so don't dig like you're um, heading towards Australia um, and then you should be okay and then again like I never have problems if there's kick up I just take that kick up and use it right um let's see yeah and then I think for application it's best to use your finger or to use these spongy silicone style um these here spatula things. I hear NYX makes a really good one. Um, Teresa Mulhern, um, she uses it. So if I ever see one of those at the, you know, a NYX display, I might pick up one of those. And I did get one. That's why I could find it. It's in my palette from India. I left it in there. It comes with a double-sided one, which was really nice as well. But there we go. I really love this little palette. I love that it's six shades. It was $34.99 um, US, but then I did have a discount code. Um, there's several people that have discount codes. Um, Carrie Kay has one. Sylvia has one. Um, so yeah, so depending on who you follow, especially if you follow any of the sausages and the groups that have spread out from there, you will definitely be able to find a code. I think maybe Angelican Nyquist has one as well. So there are codes out there that get you, I think it gets you 10% off. 
Um, so yeah, and then I think, oh, and then she's right now for Mother's Day, she's having a sale, which I believe is 25% off. So that is an amazing deal. I really love this brand. Um, the owner is really, really sweet. The products are really, really excellent. The pricing is really good. It's just all on if you love the color story or not. And I love to support women-owned indie brands. So there we go. So I absolutely adore this little palette. I finally was able to try the highlighter and I'm really liking that as well. That uh, the bronze shade makes a, a fantastic inner corner. So does the pink and then the other one there. So we're going to try a three out of the four. I mean, if we wanted to, we could take the lighter shade and yeah, let's do it. Let's take it just before we sign off. Let's take a little bit of the lighter shade and then let's see if we pack a little bit, maybe a little higher up to try that as well. Oh, that's really pretty too. Can you have too much highlighter? I don't think so. There may be some crazies out there that think there's too much highlighter, but I don't think so. I like to be seen from space. So uh, there we go. We've tried all four shades and I like them all. So anyways, I think that will be it for me. I hope you do like this little look. Um, they nicely go together. It's almost like seamless. I like it. So if you'd like to give us a like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. Or maybe even hit that notification bell. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still play with gourmand girls together and enjoy the beautiful shimmer that is this palette. So have a great day. Make good choices. Stay out of trouble. And we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye.